I did try to reach out to resources. And at that time, it was uh, a resource in Delaware County because I was in Delaware County. And it did make the newspaper because it was attempted murder when he tried to kill me when I was trying to leave him. It's real when they tell you, right, to be safe when you leave and never tell them. I just want to put that out there. It's very important because I told him a week before that I was leaving. So by me telling him that, he um, came in that one that night, the night before, and I don't know what he was on at this point. I don't know, but he wanted to have sex and try to rape me, and I didn't want to. So then he just he just started in on beating me from the bedroom to the living room. My mouth was bleeding, blood everywhere. Um, I'm going to say that I really, really thought at that moment I was going to die. Um, he was choking me. He put a rag in my mouth. And I just thought, like, this is it, God, this is it. If he doesn't stop choking me, I want to die. So that's what that's what I that's the voice I heard in my mind. I was kicking, 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 and it wasn't doing anything. And then what was it like God? He just he fell out. He collapsed. And I got my son in the middle of the night and we left out with just the pajamas on in the middle of the night and went to my neighbor's house. So that was an aha moment for me. Like it, it was so disturbing for me to like go through that phase. I mean, I really look bad. Um, I had, I still got scars from the stitches in my mouth. Um, it affects me still now. The injuries I had from that ordeal because, like I said, my back, my neck, um, and like I had like some some issues with my head this whole scarring so it's like skin under my lips so sometimes when I talk it you know affects the way I talk I just recently noticed that when I was going to the dentist so it was weird but I just wanted to just um, explain you know what I've been through from that time from that time frame until now